Method blasting is a great alternative to traditional spotting and is something being used more and more on today's waters. It's a very underused approach and here Simon Bond discusses what rods work best when method blasting and how to perfect the technique needed to maximise this style of fishing. Spotting first started on a water in Bedfordshire called Elstow and that was some 17, 18 years ago and I was actually right in at the start of spotting basically and that was when we were making spots out of shampoo bottles and things like that and that was a very devastating technique. Now there are certain applications with spotting where for example spotting up against a tree line particularly in a wind like we've got today it's very easy if you want to get really close to the trees to be hanging the spots in the trees baiting all over the place and so forth. So I'd be playing around with using a method blaster basically. It's quicker than a spot obviously because you're not retrieving the spot all the distance you're casting, you're only retrieving it, you know, just in, in the edge. And in the application of baiting close to a tree line, you know, even if you clip the tree, it doesn't matter, the bait goes in the water under the tree anyway. It was something that I felt I, I wanted to really get, get better at, and certainly on, under those sort of circumstances where spotting is tricky, uh, it does have a lot of benefits, and you can put a lot of bait in quickly. And to be honest, it's different bait normally than you're using a spod because you're using ground baits and so forth. And again, spotting hemp and tigers and things like that has been done and done well on a lot of waters. But putting in a little bit of a different sort of spin, if you like, on it with, with ground bait, with additives and so forth, gives a, a different attraction. And in some cases, I think, where they're spooking off beds of spotted bait, because it, it spreads further as well, it breaks up on impact. I think it, it perhaps spooks the carp less as well. When, when you're catapulting the method out, obviously uh, you can break the ball up if you're not careful, if the action of the rod is too stiff. So it needs a, a rod with a little bit softer tip, you know, like a four pound spod rod or something like that, that propels the bait out um, without smashing it to pieces, basically. But obviously you prepare the balls with the right mix so that they are solid and, and, and held together. But you can actually put them a long, long way. What you do is you basically set it up like a normal cast and you're putting the ball in a, in a pouch. So it's basically a catapult pouch attached to a rod. It's a normal spot set up with a shock leader and so forth. And all you're doing is placing the ground bait ball in there and casting it like you would a normal spot. You open the bail arm and, and cast normally, but obviously as soon as the ball is released from there, the pouch just falls, you know, 10 yards in front of you and retrieve it and away you go again. Mm -hmm. 